Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe. If you haven't already done that, we're on the road to 113,000 subscribers, and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And also, be sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video thank you but we are back again with the what shall we do next classics the good old days when we used to just do ghost stories and um, I am trying to kind of get back I'm trying to kind of get back to the way I used to be um, so yeah you know it's gonna take a little work I've got to try and remember how I used to do things cuz I mean that's why you guys are here right you came because of that so um, I found a story, pretty interesting story, and I thought, you know, it's a good one to start with and, uh, you know, try and get me back in the swing of things, but, um, yeah, let's just jump right over to it. So, the story we will be talking about today is called Hull House. Hull House is a haunted location where a number of ghost pictures have been taken. The history of this museum in Chicago, Illinois, includes a woman named Jane Adams and the weird tale of the devil baby. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's get right over to the story. Hull House was built by Charles Hull in 1856. His wife died in the second floor bedroom of the mansion, and a few months after she passed away, her ghost was seen haunting that particular room. Overnight guests began having their sleep disturbed by footsteps and what they described as strange, unearthly noises. In 1889, Hull House was bought by Jane Addams, a wealthy heiress who devoted her life to charity work. She spent 20 years at Hull House, founding a school that was established to help educate the poor immigrants who lived in Chicago's tenements. Jane Addams slept in Mrs. Hull's old bedroom and was awakened one night by loud footsteps in the otherwise empty room. She was so frightened by the ghostly sounds that she moved into another bedroom. Jane Adams then asked a friend of hers to stay the night in the haunted bedroom. The friend woke up during the night to a ghostly apparition standing next to her bed. When she turned on the light, the figure vanished. Other visitors who stayed in the haunted room also reported hearing the same ghostly footsteps and seeing the same frightening apparition. They believed that it was the ghost of the old Mrs. Hull and considered her to be rather sad and harmless. Hull House became even more notorious when a rumor spread around Chicago that a hideous devil baby lurked within its walls. As the story goes, a poor Catholic woman put a picture of the Virgin Mary on her wall, but her husband tore it down, saying he would rather have the devil himself in the house than that picture. Later, the woman became pregnant and gave birth to a creature that was said to have pointed ears, sharp horns, scale-covered skin, and a tail. According to the story, the husband took the terrible creature to the Hull House and left it on the doorstep. Jane Adams took the devil baby in and cared for it as best as she could. She even tried to have it baptized, but during the ceremony, the baby suddenly jumped out of the priest's arms and began running around the church, dancing and cackling with glee. Not knowing what else to do with the child, Jane Adams kept it locked in the attic of the whole house. Rumors about the devil baby spread quickly throughout Chicago. And within a few weeks, hundreds of people were coming to Hull House to catch a glimpse of the wretched thing. Many people even offered to pay large amounts of money to see the devil baby. Each day, Jane Adams had to turn more and more people away. She tried to convince them that the story was untrue. Even so, the poor immigrants who lived in Chicago still believed the tales of the devil baby of Hull House. Today, many people still maintain that the story of the devil baby 
was partially true. They say the child was actually a terribly disfigured baby that was brought to the Hull House by a young woman who was unable to care for it properly. The pitiful child's face looked so monstrous and shocking that rumors started about a devil baby at Hull House. They say that on certain nights, if you look closely at the outside of Hull House, you will see the ghostly face of that poor little deformed baby staring back at you from the attic window. And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story, my first real story since I've, you know, not been doing scary stuff for a while. But I hope you enjoyed it. It was a start. It was kind of sad. I mean, if this was true, um, I feel really bad for the baby if it was true because like, like it said, it could have just been a deformed child and everyone's calling it this devil baby. Um, if that's the case, it's a pretty sad story, but it was also pretty funny the way that they were like, they tried to get it baptized and it jumped up and started running around and cackling. Um, I thought that was pretty funny, but it is also pretty creepy. So it's a little bit of everything to get you guys warmed up and back ready for the channel. Um, and I don't really know what I'm going to be doing for Halloween yet, but I, I might have a little something up my sleeve, even though I don't have one. Um, but I'll have something prepared for you guys. I promise. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please slap that like button down below. And let's see if we can go for 10 billion likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. I'm starting to remember it all. It's all coming back to me. And remember the most important thing of all, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.